Welcome to Daily Prayer from Bridlington Harbour using liturgy from the Northumbrian community. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. One thing I have asked of the Lord, this is what I seek that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. To behold the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. Who is it that you seek? We seek the Lord our God. Do you seek him with all your heart? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your soul? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your strength? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your mind? Amen. Christ, have mercy. declaration of faith. To whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life and we have believed and have come to know that you are the Holy One of God. Praise to you Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Today's scripture reading for the 24th of August. You might realise that we've got a little voice babbling next to me. Always a pleasure to do morning prayer with my little girl. And then the uh, prayer from the, the reading from the psalm this morning, chapter 34, verses 11 to 14. Come, O children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Which of you desires life and covets many days to enjoy good? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. Our Old Testament reading from Jeremiah 29 is one of the great promises of the Bible. Sometimes at times it's difficult to, uh, to see where this fits into our lives and into our world. Great is the mystery of our faith. For Jeremiah 29 tells us that for surely I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans for your welfare and not for harm, to give you a future with hope. Then when you call upon me and come and pray to me, I will hear you. When you search for me, you will find me. And our New Testament reading is from Philippians chapter 2, verses 1 to 4, and then 12 to 13. And this gives us some real good practical wisdom about living lives of, of holiness set apart for God. If then there is any encouragement in Christ, any consolation from love, any sharing in the Spirit, any compassion and sympathy, make my joy complete. Be of the same mind, having the same love, being in full accord and of one mind. Do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility, Regard others as better than yourselves. Let each of you look not to your own interests, but to the interests of others. Therefore, my beloved, just as you have always obeyed me, not only in my presence, but much more now in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God who is at work in you, enabling you both to will and to work for his good pleasure. A 
our meditation for this day. Whichever way we turn, O oh God, there is your face. In the light of the moon and the patterns of the stars, in sacred mountain rifts and ancient groves, in mighty seas and creatures of the deep. Whichever way we turn, O oh God, there is your face. In the light of eyes we love, in the salt of tears we have tasted. In weathered countenances east and west, in the soft skin of the child everywhere. Whichever way we turn, O oh God, there is your face. There is your face among us. We now have the time in our service where we say our prayers for others, the desires on our heart this day, the things to put before God for ourselves and for our world, knowing that our God listens and wants what's best for us. Come, Lord Jesus, and hear our prayers that we offer to you now. We finish our time of prayer this morning, as ever, with our canticle, that reminder of God's presence in our lives, that assurance, that affirmation, as we say, Christ as a light, illumine and guide me. Christ as a shield, overshadow me. Christ under me, Christ over me. Christ beside me on my left and my right. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek yet all powerful. Be in the heart of each to whom I speak, in the mouth of each to, who, to, who speaks unto me. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek yet all powerful. Christ as a light, Christ as a shield, Christ beside me, on my left and my right. And the blessing we say. May the peace of the Lord Christ go with you, wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storms. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>